Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about the one year review with my Thunder Laser. I've done a whole bunch of projects with this machine. It's been a dream to work with and we'll go over some of the things that I really like about this machine. I will mention there are a couple of things that I think Thunder could do a better job on and we'll talk about those. Um, we'll talk about some of the things that I was looking for in a machine when I was uh, shopping but had not owned a laser compared to now where I've used this laser for a year and had things changed on what I would look for in a laser. And I think that's important. You learn a lot when you use something for a year and some of the things that you're looking for matters more now than when, uh, when you were looking when you hadn't owned a laser. So we'll talk a little bit about that today. Let's go ahead and get into the review. So one of the things that I didn't give a lot of credit to was fit and finish when I was shopping for a laser uh, well over a year ago. I always appreciated things that look nice, but uh, once you get to use a laser and realize how much smoke and residue that they create uh, and then have to clean that up, um, you will realize that having uh, anodized surfaces, a very heavy coating on all of their painted surfaces, uh, when you go to clean this machine, uh, you will appreciate on how well uh, the paint is applied to this cabinet, all the nice anodized finishes, um, even in places like on the inside of the doors. Um, you can see via the reflection, there is no roughness in this material at all. This is just a dream to be able to go ahead and spray down and clean up. So one of the, one of the things that I appreciate much more now than I did when I was looking for a laser is how easy is this thing going to be to clean up? Um, no matter where you look, even on the inside of these doors, on the inside of the cabinets, places that you wouldn't expect to be well finished. Um, are very smooth and coated with the paint uh, and it's just no problem at all to go ahead and clean up. Um, I did a pretty big maintenance on this laser about a week ago and when I was all done it looked like the day I took it out of the cabinet and that's because um, the finishes are so nice on this machine that cleaning it up is really uh, uh, just no struggle whatsoever. So fit and finish uh, means a lot more to me now than it did when I purchased a laser only because I didn't realize um, how much you have to clean it, you know, clean it up. And if you have a good quality uh, paint job on your cabinet and nice anodized finishes, uh, it just is no big deal. Even back here, you know, even the hidden spots, it's all just nice and smooth and easy to clean. So I would say fit and finish is one thing that I've been really impressed with this machine on. Uh, it's a breeze to clean up. I haven't seen any corrosion in any way. Um, and so that was probably uh, one of the things that I've really appreciated this last year. One of the other features that I didn't know much about when I purchased this laser was the uh, air assist control uh, panel on the left hand side of the laser. Uh, what this is for is in light burn you have the ability to turn air assist on or off. If you turn it off in light burn you get low volume air. If you turn it on you get high volume air. And you might not realize how much of a benefit that is but the way that works is you can do a design in light burn for let's say engraving something first which would be a low volume application and then turn right around and go ahead and cut that engraving out and s automatically switch to high volume air. You can do that in Lightburn in the software and you don't have to worry about doing that. Uh, it does it automatically. Here's the other thing I really like about this, uh, this option. And it's, it's, this is standard on all Nova uh, machines, is I can push this green button and then I can come over here 
and put my finger underneath here and feel how much air is coming out and adjust it accordingly. Let's say that I wanted to do some acrylic and I wanted just a whisper of air to come out. I can actually adjust this needle valve so there's just a whisper of air coming out of this air nozzle and you'll be amazed on how well you can eliminate ghosting. You don't have to mask in any way. Um, the other thing that I found is very handy with this is when you're doing engraving, you can actually play with your air pressure and get a different look or contrast when you're engraving, let's say, wood or even acrylic. Um, so you can get different looks just by adjusting this uh, airflow or this needle valve. Um, this feature in on, on the Thunder Nova series has been really nice. Once I learned how to use it, uh, I wouldn't be without it today. And I don't believe there's many other manufacturers that offer this. But this is something, again, when I was looking at a laser, I didn't know anything about, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it now. I, I absolutely love this thing and use it a lot. One of the other things that I didn't uh, realize and didn't even understand is um, how easy it is to check the focus lens on this laser to make sure it's clean. Um, this is something that I do every morning before I start because you want to make sure that this uh, focus lens is, clear, is clean. All you got to do is pull this out, drop this down, unscrew this, and go ahead and take a look at your focus lens. And if it's not dirty, I don't clean it. If it's dirty, it's quick and easy. Um, again, this is something that you, got, you should pay attention to when you're shopping for a laser. It's things like this where it takes me probably 15 or 20 seconds to check this focus lens to ensure that it's clean before I start my day. Just as fast to go ahead and put it back. And that's how easy it is to check my focus lens before I start the day. One of the other features I've really learned to appreciate is having the ability to either use the autofocus sensors, um, which means, and it's set from the factory, um, you can put your material on this bed, push the autofocus in the control uh, panel, the, the bed comes up and focuses it automatically with a beam of light that comes across here. It's very repeatable, very reliable. And it's set up right from the factory. But in addition to that, I really like the ability to go ahead and manually focus, meaning that if I put my material here, I can drop this head down and focus it accordingly that way. And um, in some cases, you don't want to be in perfect focus. You want to uh, defocus that lens a little bit to get a different look. The other thing that I think is really nice that they've done is they put a stop ring right here. So if you do manually focus and you want to go back to your autofocus setting, you can just make sure that this head is all the way pushed up until you get this, uh, hit this stop ring and you're right back into perfect focus when you use the autofocus feature. So having a machine that will give you not only autofocus capabilities and manual focus capabilities really broadens your horizons on the way things look when you go to engrave them. Um, it, it really, you know, you don't see that a lot, but trust me, there's a big difference and you can get a great look by defocusing your laser lens when you're engraving in certain circumstances. Just another great feature, you have two ways to focus, automatic focus and manual focus. Here is an area that I think Thunder could improve. Um, absolutely love the machine, but in this particular case, they don't provide you any kind of a material or a dropout tray that actually slides out to where you can clean this up. It just falls on this, this tray here that has sides, but it doesn't have any uh, uh, things to stop the, the material from dropping down. And so if, if and I, I believe they're working on this. I believe this is something that, they, that will be coming eventually. But um, a, a slide out, drop out tray would really take this machine to the next level. I just created one on the laser uh, and it works real well. Uh, but that's something that I think Thunder could uh, improve on if they would provide a slide out, drop out tray would really be helpful. Other than that, everything underneath here, um, works great.
The only other thing that I would mention to Thunder that I think they can improve on is this is the pass-through door. You have to remove six screws and take this door completely out. It's kind of a pain. I would highly recommend uh, putting a hinge on the bottom of this door and making, uh, you know, putting some bigger thumb screws so you don't have to use any uh, tools to drop down this tray. You've got room to do it, it looks like to me, but I think if you had a way to modify this um, pass-through door and put a hinge on the bottom of it so it just swings out of the way, it would make life a little bit easier. I do use the pass-through quite a bit. It works great, but removing this, um, this door and putting it back is just a little time consuming. One of the other things that I've come to appreciate about this machine is how quiet it is when it's operating. They provide an inline fan that's very quiet, it's easy to maintain, and when this machine is running, the chiller's going, the fan's going, the laser's operational, I have no problem having a normal conversation in the shop. People can hear me, and so that's been a very pleasant surprise, is just how uh, nice this uh, machine is to be around when it's operating. It's not noisy in any way, and uh, I've appreciated on, uh, you know, just that you don't have to worry about ear wearing earmuffs or any hearing protection when uh, you're operating this machine. The two other things that I wanted to mention was support this last year from Thunder and alignment. Um, I know there's a lot of conversation out there about, you know, does it come aligned? Does it need to be aligned? Those kind of things. I will tell you that when I took it out of the crate and checked my alignment, checked my lenses, um, they were spot on. I have not had to uh, adjust this laser in any way from a beam alignment perspective. Uh, it's been spot on for the entire time. So that's been good. And for most of the people that I deal with, that seems to be the case. On the support side, I really haven't needed any support, meaning that I have not had one problem with this machine. I have had a lot of questions. And so as a new laser owner, um, it wasn't that I was having problems with the machine, it was questions that I had either with light burn and the machine, or I wanted to do a certain uh, project and I wasn't sure how to approach it. Um, I can say that the support from Thunder has been fantastic. Um, they're usually very quick to respond and uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a light burn question or a, you know, uh, just how do I do something. Um, they're really good about answering those questions. The other thing that I will tell you is if you go onto their website, uh, thunderla uh, thunderlaserusa.com uh, and go into their support section, you will be amazed on how much information there is on all the different things that you might run into. Uh, the knowledge base that they've uh, been working on for the last year has grown tremendously. And I really appreciate it because if there's something that I might need to do from a, a belt change out or something like that on this machine, uh, you can just search that in their support site and boom, all of it comes up. Most of that stuff will be uh, written materials along with videos. And uh, I've seen in the last year that that support section in their site has grown immensely. And it's a huge resource for somebody that owns a Thunder that might be needing a little bit extra information. The other thing that they're currently doing is once a week they have a forum where you can go ahead and call in via a, a, a meeting request and you can talk directly to the Thunder representatives, um, the techs, uh, a lot of times the manufacturer of the rotary participates. Um, and so the great thing about that is if you have very specific questions that you want answered regarding maybe your rotary or something specific about <clears throat> your laser, you can get on that once a week phone call and uh, talk to them directly. You don't have to worry about playing phone tag or email, that kind of stuff. I just think it's that kind of support that makes a difference in the laser company that you choose. Let's talk a little bit about the materials that I've used on my lasers this last year. Uh, for the most part, my cutting, I've done uh, birch plywood 
from eighth inch to half inch. Um, if you're cutting thicker materials, like quarter inch materials or thicker, I would highly recommend an external air source. Um, that will make a huge difference in the thickness of materials that you can cup, cut with these machines. Not necessary, but if you're going to want to cut thicker materials, it will definitely be a big benefit to you. I've cut hardwoods up to half an inch. I cut a lot of uh, foam up to two inches thick, fabric, acrylic from eighth inch to quarter inch. Um, those are typically the things that I uh, cut with on my laser. From an engraving perspective, I've engraved Baltic birch, hardwoods, slate, granite, marble, ceramic tile, glass, leatherette, stainless steel tumblers, powder coated tumblers, anodized <clears throat> uh, stainless, painted uh, ammo cans. Um, there is just a, a, just a whole host of things that you can do with this laser. A lot more than I thought when I initially made the purchase. That's for sure. Some of the most favorite things I like to do is engrave tumblers anywhere from a, a, a 20 ounce tumbler all the way up to a 64 ounce growler. And you can do that in this machine. So don't think that just because it's a fairly small laser for bed size that you're not able to engrave fairly large items when it comes to tumblers. The other thing that I really like to do is engrave on uh, Baltic birch, whether it's ornaments, pictures, those kind of things. Uh, the accuracy of this machine when it comes to, to engraving is just incredible. You'll have a lot of fun. Well, well, in short, am I happy with the Thunder Laser? You know, there just isn't anything I can say bad about it. A few little things that I'd like to see them change, but those are things that certainly aren't deal breakers. I would buy this machine again in a heartbeat. As a matter of fact, I've purchased or ordered, I should say, a Nova 35 100 watt as my second laser that should be showing up later this year. Um, I've been very happy with the machine, not only the quality of the machine, but the support that I've uh, looked for. And in general, um, I am very happy with my purchase. I hope this information was helpful, and if you please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, thanks and have a great day.